Last week in the Great Corner Bake Off, we saw the contestants struggling and battling it out to make enough cake for a Channing cake sale. They knew just how hectic these charity events can be. So let's just say the contestants really rose to the challenge. Even though it was a bit of an eaten mess. As you can imagine, the star bakers of this week are, you've guessed it, the middle school officers. <laughs> Thankfully, we're moving on this week, for as you all know, if at first you don't succeed, try and bake again. This week, your task is to bake a treat that will make Miss Tranter jump for joy. That's right, it's Capital Challenge Week. Right, you have 60 minutes to complete your bakes. Ready, set, bake! We'll be back after a short bake. <laughs> I mean break. Now that we're on channel four. Now, now it's time, time for the, the candidate screening. screening. Tree huggers. Making up for the grades. Glasses don't make you clever, you know. <laughs> Stretchy freaks. Percy pigs. Nothing supreme about that attitude. And of course, the head girl rejects. <laughs> Howdy, Stella and Jesse. How are you doing? Oh, hi, Sue. Sorry, I was just watering my cactus. We won't actually be making a cake because we don't want to waste any of the world's wonderful natural resources. So, sorry, I, I just really can't like focus right now. I just watched Cowspiracy and my mind is blown. Oh, uh, we've all been there. I'm just uh, finding some organically homegrown, um, dairy-free, gluten-free produce because uh, we don't support the meat industry and we, we like to stick to our principles. Produce carbon emissions. Oh God, Jesse! Oh what are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah, and guys, you're wasting so much water with all this washing up. If you don't choose our carrot as the winner, you're all climate change deniers. Yeah, come on, Stella, we got a planet to save. <laughs> so, arts officers, tell us about your cake. So we've gone for a completely original form of the classic gâteau. We're calling it the uh, deconstructed cake, and we really feel like. It symbolises our beliefs and how you know. Beautiful in the eye of the beholder. So we had all these beautiful plans for our cake, but sadly they took our funding to build the Performing Arts Centre. I think this year has been really tough on us. We haven't really had a place to call home. Oh my goodness, what on earth's going on here? We have nowhere else to go. Oh come on, of course you do. You can't live here. Oh, please. Come on, get up. On your way, go to your lessons. <laughs> So we've had quite a journey. So, science officers, can you tell us where you got your inspiration from? I think it's time to tell them our secret. To honour this great man who has taught us about all the species of the world, our interest has really erupted, erupted and we love, love him, him so much. Well, where did you manage to get all these ingredients from? They look quite toxic to me. For example, what's this? <laughs> Cast a ship. And this? Flour. Eggs. Eggs. Flour. Uh, sugar. More sugar. We just need a lot of sugar. <laughs> Mr. Jacobs. Hello. You know that the science department is the best apartment. That's the word on the street. And we don't want to lose the bake off. I hope you don't. So we were wondering if you would let us sneak into the lab and steal some chemicals for our cake. Sneak into the lab? Steal some chemicals? Je ne pense pas. No, you are having a big go, Mr. What? 
Are you serious? What a stupid idea. You haven't even done a risk assessment. See me after school on Friday. Hello, what do you want? It's a secret. All the science teachers won't let us into the lab. Please, 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 can you let us do some chemicals? We don't want to lose the bake off. Have you added the water yet? Oh my gosh, I put HCL in by accident. What are we gonna do? Uh, excuse me, sports officers. Sorry to interrupt, but what bacon creation have you got for us today? Well, for our showstopper, we wanted to pay tribute to our leaders. Oh, Australia! <laughs> we like to think of it as the birthplace of all the greatest, greatest. sports leaders, who we all aspire to emulate. Alice, 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 I have some news! What? Our Australian pronunciation classes are growing by one. The new teacher, Miss Weymers, isn't Australian. Ladies, yes. ladies, put your books down. Have you been doing any revision for your Australian culture and language class? Yes. Yes, sir! Yes, Miss You Dizzy. do understand the importance of this class. Mrs. Elliot wouldn't let us employ another Australian PE teacher, so we need to get to grit with our Australian language. Do you understand? Yes, yes I understand. Do you understand? Yes, I yes, understand. Right. Yes, right. Yes. So, last week, we talked about PE phrases. Ramies, can you repeat what we went through? Get changed quicker, girls. Repeat. Get changed quicker, girls. That's not very Australian, try harder. Get changed quicker, girls. Get changed quicker, girls. Quicker, girls. We need to speak about this, Ramies. Now, you two, come on, Ellie. Get changed quicker, girls. <laughs> can't giggle, you have no authority, Gibbons. Right, Alice, <laughs> tell me, repeat for me. Get changed quicker, girls. Oh, well. Wow. Well, since we are the epitome of health and fitness, we wanted to make sure our cake embodied that too. It's a granola flavoured sponge, smothered in a kale icing, and topped off with none other than quinoa sprinkles. So, middle school officers, what are you up to? Today, we have been slaving away to make our perfect creation. We have put so much time into and effort into our perfect cake. We really hope it does pay off. This week, we're embodying the values of the thought of the week, carnivore. I will try. Guys, I think I put salt in instead of sugar. Shut, Shut up, Polly! Wait, guys, there's something missing. I got you. I really think that our cake embodies the woman herself. Mother, Mother Harvard. Harvard. So, good morning, it's lovely to see you. Any problems in the little school? We're afraid we'd be having a friendship issue. A very serious friendship issue. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, perhaps you'd like to go and get them and then we can talk this one through. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Are you prepared to apologise to each other? Are you prepared to forgive each other? And then if you hug it out, we can just draw a line under this and move on in the Channing way. What do you think? Yes. Oh. Yeah, Mum, we're going to Hampstead. No, Mum, there aren't going to be boys there. I can't even use it. What a one, up the school officers! What we've decided to do is make a cake that, like, year 10s and year 11s can really relate to and actually want to eat. Yeah. Exactly. So we've got some resources here to help us out. As you may have noticed, um, we've adopted new looks inspired by our girls in the office school. Year 11 told us it's not worth planning ahead because that's so extra. extra. Um, so, and they gave us this cookbook um, with some great last minute recipes. Mm. Like, like that. Yeah. yeah. Like a hug from my hand. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, yeah? Doing alright? Yeah? Yeah? High five? Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Struggle trying to get our main ingredient. Shall, wasn't that something we were meant to do today? Oh shoot, we need to make a cake. We could use this one. Nah. nah. who we are as officers. Yeah. So we have um, a hat from our homeless clothes collection and a, a tampon for our sanitary collection. And it's mostly just about like giving our time and effort, you know, and obviously the most important thing of all, you know, money. money. There's a lot of money there. Where did you get it from? She wanted to talk to me. Obviously you look, you look a bit kind of, I don't know, a bit down, a bit worried. You know, what's wrong? What's the problem? We just thought we were raising enough money, Mr. Underwood, and... Yeah, no one seems to be giving any money, and, like, it's a great charity, but no one's really giving anything, and, like, all the ideas yeah. we have clearly aren't working. Like, we have cake sales and karaoke, but so we're, we're yeah. not really sure. They're a bit, they're a bit samey, I think people are very generous here, but you need to be a bit more original. We're busking for charity girls, we're just a bit change. Call. Kind of really, really get this show on the road. Yeah. What about some Justin Bieber? Okay. Do you know some Justin Bieber? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Justin Bieber's brilliant. Let me love you. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, I used to believe we were burning on the edge of something beautiful. Something beautiful. Also, um, if you need a lot of persuasion, then... Um, we can be very persuasive. Orla, do you think if we win, they'll stop bugging us about the capital challenge and let us fundraise for a real charity? You mean for people who actually need it? I can only hope, Orla! Keep, keep going! Yeah, okay. I think that's enough from the contestants. I agree. As long as they concentrate, I'm sure we won't get any soggy bottoms. You know, Mum, I feel like our great con of viewers know the contestants so well, but don't know anything about us. Yeah, it's a shame. And of course it must be really hard for Sue to be my deputy, because of course she's not as funny. The thing is, everyone knows that Mal's just not as clever as me. And of course, it must be hard for her to be the less pretty one. Hello bakers, um, so we're going to go down to the cake cell now. Come with us. Got it. Okay, uh, can everyone on the game line? Excuse me, excuse me. Everyone, can you please get into a line? Thank you. Well, 
Well, good morning, Mel and Sue. What do you have to report this week? Well, there was the Conor Bake Off council meeting, and there was the cake sell, and there was the candidate screening. Well, that all sounds great. Have there been any problems this week? Well, there is one thing. Well, the problem is that the other candidates don't realise that we are simply so above them. It's just so good! Mother! <laughs> I was like, no, and then he was like, yes! <laughs> Thank you, girls! Oh, All right. Right. Oh, what a good social! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? was a lovely little interlude. Back in the tent, the bakers are finishing off their creations. Right bakers, you have three minutes on the clock. Connor Bake Off and tried, but sometimes that's not good enough. Let's face it, not one of them will make the cut and the thrust of the baking world. We need a revamp. A complete revamp. <laughs> 